Right everyone, Reflect here. If you've watched my April Fool's video, I've got all my fingers still. Uh, right, today I'm going to make a walking stick. I was going to do a walking cane. I did have these pieces of wood strapped to some straight pieces of wood to make these straight, but I think I left it too long. They'd already dried out a bit and they haven't really gone straight. So, as I mentioned, I was going to, I was going to do a long cane, but instead, because this one's got a bit of a bend here, I may cut it off here, have it the length of a standard walking stick instead of a longer one. It'd still be good, still be what I want, still carryable. I'm going to use this piece of off cut scrap to make a ball for the top, make this end into a dowel, put it on, put a pin in, have a metal ferrule at the bottom. And yeah, so it'll be pretty much me doing that. Finishing this. It will still have a slight bend to it, I reckon, but nothing that will really matter. Straight one way. Um, and you could buy a piece of wood if you wanted to. You could get some kind of hardwood um, handle like that. But I prefer to do most of my projects with stuff you can get for free. So this is a hazel branch. This is just a piece of offcut from an old door. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, you can buy most things, but I try to do all my projects for free if possible. So, first thing I will do, I think I'll cut this to length, uh, just to see what kind of length I want. <clears throat> and then, I may start doing the ball first, because that will be the most difficult thing. So, yeah, let's get going. <laughs> Right, so I don't know how well you can see this, but you can see it will be up to my, pretty much the top of my trousers actually, so up to my um, waist, that's the perfect sort of size for a walking stick for me, uh, but it'll still be a decent size for other uses, and it'll have the nice ball on the end of the ferrule, so yeah, that's about right for me, so now I think I'll try and prepare ball first now. Right, so this is what will form the ball on the end of the stick. So we'll drill a hole in so I can put some kind of piece of wood in it just so I can hold it to start shaping this into a cylinder first and then we'll start cutting off the edges so I'll make a sort of hexagon shape first round those edges over and then start making it into a oval type shape sort of an egg shape it won't be a ball it'll be more like an egg kind of shape to sit on the end of the stick so I think I'll knock these edges off now and start shaping it actually the first thing we'll do is do the hole I need to drill this hole first so we'll probably do it three quarters of the way in. So this entire thing is one and three quarter inches, one and three quarter inches by just over three. So I'll probably do it two and a quarter inches deep, the hole, and probably do it about, uh, the hole will probably be half inch or five apes, so about, 15 16 millimeters so that you've got a nice thick dowel on the end of here a nice thick bit that won't break easily Right, that should do for the hole. Decent sized hole. So it will add a lot of strength. Now we can start shaping this. Find something to fit in there so I can hold it and I can start shaping it. I'll just do that as I go along. I don't really know a technique to this, so I'll just have to do it as I go. 
Right, I've got the piece of wood on this piece of wood just for now. The, the bit is going to be rounded off. So I can now, hopefully, without much trouble, start shaping this into a cylinder. Because that's just friction fitted on at the minute. It'll just tap off. So I'll just keep going round to make a cylinder, then I can start curving those edges round. Right, you can see I've got a bit of a cylinder going now. If I didn't show you this bit, it's just a piece of wood and I just, um, it's just an off cut and I just cut the dowel as I would for that, but slightly longer and this is just friction fitted on for now. So what I can start doing now is start turning over these edges to start creating the sort of egg kind of shape, the oval shape. And that'll just be a case of coming over the edges here like I did, but just on this edge for now. And I'll just keep working my way round. Right, so this is about as much as I can do with the spoke shave. It's not really working properly. Uh, I probably needed to cut off more material first. So what I think I'll do, it'll be a bit quicker, just use the little belt grinder I've got just to finish off this end. And then this part, I want to bring it in to as thick as the top of this one that's going to go into it or slightly thicker so this one that this end doesn't need to go in that much really but I do want to bring this right into a circle but we'll um that should be easy to do on the little belt grinder That's the oval ball end pretty much done. I'll need to just do this end when I put the actual shaft into it. But uh, yeah, the top is pretty much how I want it. Nicely ovaled off. So yeah, that will go onto the shaft and then we'll just taper this to the thickness of the shaft. So what I'll do now is take this off and start shaping the end of this. Right, so I'll check the depth of the hole, my pencil, so about there. So now I'll cut round here, the saw. Pretty, you didn't see me do it, but I pretty much do what I did here. So I'll just cut round with a saw, take, the, take a knife and the spoke shave, shave it down to about this thickness, and that should slot on. And I might, if I can do it, about here, cut and put a metal collar. So you'll have a contrast of the ball, little metal collar, and the one at the end. But yeah, I'll start doing this bit now. Right, so you got your hole in your little uh, ball bit. There's the dowel for that, dowel pin for that. That fits on good, that does. 
I think I will do a little metal collar there. I think it'll just make it look better. Uh, so the last things to do now, really, are finish off this end. So I'm going to have a little metal collar on there, maybe with a piece of metal to cap the end if I can. But that doesn't really matter. As long as it protects the edges, it's going to stop it splitting anyway. And then shape this up to the edge. But yeah, first thing, what we'll try to do now then is see if I can get a collar as thick as this to fit on here. And also we'll have to just finish off getting off any little knobbly bits on here. So yeah, so we'll find a little piece of tube that will work for a collar. If not, I'll just have to leave it. But I'll look for that now. Right, so I'm going to put one of these on here. This is just a collar for some um, plumbing, plumbing collar basically. It's about, measure it for you. Probably about an inch in it. Inch inside by the looks of it, about an inch and a quarter, sort of fitting. So I'm gonna just cut this round here a little bit so that this is pretty much just fit on and then the ball will be like that. Should look alright I think. Looking out look alright. So it'll just be shaping this now for that. And to do that I'll literally just do the same as I did here, just here. So I won't bother filming that bit because it'll just literally be shave a bit off, screw that on. Right, so that's what that end will look like. I think it looks alright. A bit bulkier than I thought, but it works. So the ball is just fitting on for a second. That collar comes off. That's what that's like. So now what I'll do is get rid of any of these little lumps and bumps and then sort out for a little ferrule at the end. Again, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for that. I'll just find whatever I can. And then it's just a case of finishing it off then, varnishing it. So, let's uh, let's do that end, and then we can pretty much finish it. Right, I've got the end ferrule on, which was just a bit of tube on, nail, the nail in the bottom. Didn't really need that, but I just put it on anyway. Got that does a bit of a stop. So what I'm going to do now is put the collar on, glue that on, glue the ball on, put a pin. I'm not decided. I may put a pin either through that way or that way. I'll work out which way I think will be the best way to do it. Uh, the reason I'm going to pin it is because as soon as it's pinned, I can carry on using it then. If I don't pin it, I won't be able to finish it off. Pin it, it's fixed, and then the glue can dry while the nail holds it. You can carry on working. And then while that's drying, I will sand any of the little knobbly bits off, and then it'll be ready to finish. So, to glue this end, I'm just going to use standard wood glue. That'll do. Um, the ball will hold the collar on anyway, but if the collar moves too much, I may just drill a hole, put a little pin in it, just to stop it, because it should hold tight anyway, but if it doesn't, I'm going to, um, I'll just drill and put a little pin in there. Alright, a little trick for you, if you need to put a pin in something, you're worried it might split the wood. You don't know this I, I got taught this by a carpenter so get your nail and blunten the tip and that does stop stuff splitting I don't know why maybe it makes a bigger hole as it going in and doesn't split it out but yeah that does seem to work because I certainly don't want this splitting otherwise that's the end of it isn't it so I'll put this about here this should hopefully catch the um, inside 
I can feel that. Yeah, oh, that's solid now. So I can now carry on. I can feel that, but that's not going to move. So the, the glue can dry by itself, and I can actually carry on working on it now. So it will just be sanding this down, get, try to get rid of any of these um, burnt bits, and we'll be finishing it. So I'm going to put the old oak wood stain on again. It will hide any little imperfections and black bits, burnt bits. I'm just going to apply it with a sponge. If you hear a lot of noise, it's because it was just raining. I think it's just literally just stopped. So yeah, let's have a look. See what the uh, I know what this sort of wood already looks like because I did it with the um, fair barn handle, didn't I? The sort of my um, dagger that I did recently. I don't know what this will look like with it on. Probably need a few coats. Right, I've given it one coat each. I can leave this probably about half an hour and then I should be able to put another coat on. This is quick dry and stuff. Um, so in half an hour I'll do it again. Hopefully you should still be able to see a contrast between the two ends. I don't want them to look the same really. It doesn't matter if they do, but I do like the contrast. And then I'll uh, polish up the two ends. And that's pretty much done then. Right, so there it is. That's the finished product. Still got a slight little bend in it, but nothing that would really affect anything if you're using it. Uh, gives it a bit of character, I suppose. The ball works really good. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do some uh, close-up pictures now just to finish it off and at a later date maybe do some tests with it so yeah there it is homemade walking stick with a sort of ball end cap on it right hope you enjoyed the video see you later Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.